everyone. We are off to do another test. I think we're gonna be pretty excited with this test. I'm gonna make this probably into two or three parts. Um, this is one of my viewers requested down below to do a very curvy hairpin turn um, or something similar to that. And I have just the test to try that out uh, coming up. This is gonna be all back rows essentially. Um, I was gonna make this video a long time ago when I first got the beta, but honestly it did so bad that I didn't bother. Um, so we're gonna use this video as a baseline for how it does, and then we get to see how it improves with each update. This will make Lombard Street look like a piece of cake. Um, so as you can see, if you see a little preview on my screen, you can see what it looks like. It is um, quite a ridiculous uh, hill and so we're gonna see how this handles it. I'm gonna manually adjust the speed down and then I'll explain it as we go. As you can see it didn't actually increase the speed. This is exactly what I want to see is as it a lot of times before it would go past the speed limit sign start increasing the speed and then jam on the brakes to make the turn. So right here now turn right to stay on Green River Cove Road. Not sure why it's... The map is wrong. Like, standard. So we're gonna go as slow as it'll let me go at a reasonable speed. Um, it's gonna be an interesting test. As you can see already, there. what makes this even more difficult, there are no lane lines on this road and there's a like crap ton of blind turns that yeah and as you can see oh my goodness there's a straight drop off to my right and so I'm gonna have to be careful on I'm just gonna slow this down even more A little bit more comfortable if I was on the. Okay, so that was too close to the edge for me. But this is already doing significantly better than it did previously. But we haven't even got to the hard part yet. So uh, I'll speed it up and down as we get to around, around to the bins. In fact, just so we can see how close we are, you've already seen the map. You already seen going forward. I do not expect it to make this, but let's see here. Nope. Let's see. Oh, oh, good. Slow down. I did not break that. Okay. It is seeing the road quite well, but it doesn't know to stay. We need to stay all the way on the far right here because, oh, much better. Okay, currently much better. And we have gone off the road. Okay. So it went off the road there, as you can see in the camera right here, how close it's getting to the edge. And I'm gonna slow this down to five miles per hour. No. So what it needs to do, and it can't even do it correctly, is it needs to, <laughs> still has cruise on. It needs to, take that corner very sharply because it can't see if a car is coming around the corner so it needs to slow down really down about less than 10 miles an hour to take that so it was up this speed back to 10 this is going to be my critical stress test if it if full self-driving can make this road it is ready for prime time because Make this road with zero interventions, should I say. At a normal speed, which would probably, you know, the speed limit is 25. 
uh, probably you know 20 is probably a safe speed going downhill uh, and go as fast as you like going uphill but it just gets far too close to the edge for my liking I, uh. oh is it gonna make it heck yes I made the first made that first curve by itself the previous 8.2 update actually no this was before 8.2 it was probably beta 7 maybe this is back in December, I think, when I tested this. Um, it, it just didn't make it at all. There's nothing nothing I could do. No no slow speed or anything. It would automatically try to get on the left lane here. And coming back up, um, I'm actually, I guess today, I'm not going to test. I'll test that at a different time. We're going to make a whole loop, so I'm going to make a second video. There's a car coming up. We'll see how it handles this. Okay, no problem. Okay. See, so too far to the left, but if it saw, saw a car, it probably would have swerved to the right more. Um, but it made it. I'm extra. Okay. If you couldn't see, there's like a two foot drop off right there. I'm absolutely going to play it safe on this road, and we're on the wrong side of the road, on a blind curve. So that, I need to remember, uh, keep me honest guys, with the, with, or, correct my memory should I say, with the camera button, you just remind me to use it, um, when it's making critical mistakes, it shouldn't be on the wrong side of the road on a blind corner, that's a critical mistake. Okay. Made that corner. There was a hole in the side of the road right there. I'm not risking anything on this road. You, everyone. I see in the comments down below saying I disengaged too early, but you would too if your car was about to fall off the side of a cliff uh, if you just let it go a little bit more. It's not worth the risk. Did that turn great? Again, it's on the wrong side of the road because it doesn't have wing lines to tell it to stay on the right side. And... Did that good? What I have to get used to is these these hills are so steep that I can't tell if my rear wheel is going to go off the back end. Coming back up, um, if it cuts the corner too sharply, the car will walk bottom out. I actually scraped bottom myself coming up this hill because the the corner and the corner right inside corner. It's just far too steep. You can see where a car... Nope. Um, the cars will um, scrape bottom. You see a whole bunch of it. Okay. That's pretty close too. I don't know, I mean, I'm looking away at the side, and, or if, is it just freaking out? I wonder if it has, because its prop, its confidence level is so low, because I look to the side to go look at something at the hill, and it's just like, nope, you're not paying attention, so it just stops going. So I'm just, I'm curious if that's what it's doing, or if it's actually just like, so unconfident on this section of road. See if we can get it to do it again while I'm looking forward, of course. Because if I look off to the side, so the, the camera up here supposedly is monitoring. Nope. I'm just gonna give them a whole bunch of feedback for this road and see if they do anything with it for the next update. Oh, 
Whoop. <laughs> Definitely messed up there. Okay. Slow down. Slow down. I know this isn't the most exciting thing in the world. You watch me go down a hill at 10 miles an hour. Um, that's exactly what it's doing. I looked away. Um, I looked down the hill to see if a car was coming, and it and it disabled it because of the camera monitoring right here. So I, it makes me wonder if I like let's cover that up with my finger and. Because we haven't been told anything if they're actually using this camera to monitor us. They haven't told us anything. So, theoretically, if I cover that up, it should freak out. Or maybe it's because it's completely covered and now decides not to do anything because it can't tell, I'm... tell where I'm looking. Maybe if I let it, like, cover up half of it. Yep. It's very interesting. So that's a running theory. I haven't seen anyone else discover that. This part of the hill, I think, is getting much easier. You can tell we're dropping a lot of elevation because my ears are popping. And I'll see how this handles getting down the hill. What I'm actually gonna do, once we get around this curve, I'm gonna reroute us. I guess once, once we get to the destination, I'll reroute us. And that will be the end of this video. Actually, I'm actually going to make this into two videos. Um, you'll see in this, this is going to be the first video. It's going to be something regarding how this is way harder than Lombard Street. And two, and we're not going to go that speed on this road. Two, how the camera monitor system, how it's monitoring us as we're looking. If you look to look look away long enough, the car just freaks out and puts on the blinkers and stops. Uh, that's exactly what it should do. Like, if I, like, pass out and look away, it should stop. Uh, however, what I'm worried about is that it's going to give a lot of false positives. Um, that's how they're going to manage insurance. They can tell if the driver pays attention, um, then your insurance goes down. But if the driver, you know, is distracted a whole bunch, then your insurance is going to go up. They're going to use that data to lower your insurance cost. And so it's just something that's really critical that they get right. I'm like, if I'm just... I mean, everyone does it. If you want, it's like, oh, look at that house over there. You look away for two seconds. I'm like... It's just one of those things. If... that That's what the software is supposed to prevent. Like, it literally, I could go around and buy and turn around, hey, look at this house over here, that's cool. And then a car could just come out of nowhere on my side of the road and crash into me. Um, so it's, it's one of those things, it's hard to figure out, was I in the right or was I in the wrong? If I was looking away for any reason at all, I mean, technically, I would be in the wrong. But, yeah, that's, that's the thing. Uh, especially right now because obviously the car can and will do anything at random just because it is in beta and so if it thinks it sees something in the front it might try to swerve away from it so th these are things we have to watch for changes on on these videos and so that was a very interesting insight to figure out because i know noticed that a couple other times it would beep at you like if you like looked away or something it would kind of beep like if i was looking at the screen it would beep at me but it wouldn't ever disengage like that. It did that a couple times over the weekend in my previous video, but only because of, well actually, well actually, sorry, I couldn't find any reason. I was looking for it, it was trying to make a left turn, and it freaked out. 
unless I didn't realize I looked away. Um, because I, I mean, I could see, at least in my peripheral vision, um, the turn. There was no cars coming. I was waiting for the car to slow down and stop to let cars go by, and it would go, but maybe the car thought otherwise. Maybe it thought I just wasn't paying attention at all. And that's where it's gonna have to train. That cut it a little bit close right there. Um, but yeah, so that's interesting food for thought. Um, I want to know what you guys think about that down below. Uh, as always, um, please uh, like if you enjoyed, dislike if you hate my videos, and um, subscribe if you want to keep on seeing more of these. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.